Hello and welcome to the Fieldcraft server, my name is Weird and Bearded, and in my last stream, I died, and I had no idea where I was, and I thought I was going to lose everything. It took me half an hour to find my stuff. It was a bad time, so I need to make sure I'm not in that position again. I want to be able to get geared up nice and quickly, so I need a good villager set up. We have a villager breeder up in the top of the mountain, and I want to build a villager trading area inside that mountain. It's not going to be a standard setup. We're not going to be doing villagers in individual cubby holes where they can't move. They're going to be free to roam around. They're going to have a place to sleep. They're going to have a place to work. It's going to be beautiful, assuming I can get it all working. But the first thing I need to do is hollow out the mountain. I think I'm going to do about 20 layers. That should give me enough space to make it look good. I have no idea. I've not done any design work for this. I'm just going to make it up as I go along. So I need to get that place cleared out. The inside of a hollowed out mountain looks magical. It doesn't quite feel complete. It's not just because I haven't done the decoration, it's also because there's still half of the mountain to dig out, but it is looking very good. I've already got a lot of ideas. I want to build a huge tree around that pillar. I think that could look good. I have also discovered where you have um, powdered snow, no can fall through, and I might want to use that. That looked really cool, the fact that it is now snowing, essentially, indoors. Another thing I've realised, looking at the snow coming down and the dirt, it kind of feels like we're inside a cake. I don't know about you, but I can see a lot of similarities there. But that's all we're going to do with the inside of the mountain for now. It's taken a long time. This was two straight days of digging, and a little bit more than that, to be honest. But it's looking fantastic. What I'm going to do next is start working on the entrance area. Unfortunately, where I want the entrance is actually going to be 
more on the other side. But we're not going to be making the door or anything today. I just want to build the outside area. I want to get some paths to it. I also want to get some paths over to another mountain as well. So I've still got a fair amount to do. So I'm going to go scout out where I want the entrance and we're going to start building and figuring it all out. I think this is going to be a good spot for the entrance. You can see I've marked it off with the diamond blocks, partly because I want to show off my diamond blocks. You can see my main base over there. I'm going to build a little wooden platform, I think. That's not true. I'm going to build quite a large wooden platform. I think it's going to take out quite a bit. I'm going to need to build some supports for it. I don't want to build into the mountain just yet because I don't actually know what the door's going to look like. I haven't yet designed it. So I'm going to not remove any blocks until I have to so I know exactly what it is I'm doing. Um, yeah, I think this is going to look good. I exactly where the path's going to go. I think I might get rid of some of my vine farms so I can get a path out. But let's get this platform up first. So here's the platform. I've kept the design fairly simple because again I haven't designed the door yet so this may well change with the design of the door. Um, but it comes out quite a bit mainly so I have room for some good supports. Also just to make it look grand because I want the entrance to look grand as well. So the supports are made of uh, Boost logs with some fences and an end stone pillar. Also some lights in just to get this place a little bit lit up. I'll probably have to do some hidden lighting up here just to stop mobs from spawning. I think the next thing I'm going to do is the path from the base to here. And then we're going to focus on that mountain. You can see I have some more diamond blocks in place. But first of all, I want to get this path in. Um, I think I'm going to have a bit of a staircase down to this level and then do a bit of terraforming to have a path coming around here probably which I can then take down cut a hole in my vine farm and I can get it connected to this path that would make the most sense to me but I'm going to go get that done and we'll see if it looks any good I'm back at the house, I've finished building the path, and as we walk along it, as we make our way over to the entrance of the future villager trading hall mountain type thing, let's get nerdy about rope bridges, because that's how we're going to be connecting to the mountain. So, rope bridges are kind of cool, um, because the way they, the shape that they form is caused by each plank of wood being pulled down by gravity, and also being connected to its neighbours, which are also being pulled down by gravity and also being pulled by the connections to their neighbours. So it forms a shape called a catenary or catenary, depending on how you pronounce it. I prefer catenary. And it's a shape that you see all the time because it's the same thing with ropes hanging from two points, cables, anything like that. So you just know what it looks like instinctively. It doesn't mean, however, that you can make them instinctively and if I get this slightly wrong it will be very obvious and very noticeable. So me being the nerd that I am I have a spreadsheet for it. I have a spreadsheet where I can say I want my rope bridge to start here and end up there and I want it to be so long and it will tell me where to place every block so I get one single line to form the rope bridge and then I'm going to be building that out. So I'm going to get that going. I think we might do this in another time lapse. I need to gather some resources first. This is probably going to take quite a bit of wood. There is there is a distance to travel there. Also, you might be wondering why that's halfway up the mountain, not at the top. I believe at that height, I should also be able to tunnel through and reach the central point of the mountain. I am going to double check the heights just in case. But yeah, let's roll that time lapse.
I just recorded a whole section with me adding stairs to the tunnel and generally doing an outro and talking about what's happening in the future and my audio didn't record so let's do that again so it started off with me saying how much I love this view along the path just seeing that rope bridge stretch off into the seemingly nothingness before the mountain forms around it I I really like that bridge you you can ignore those holes over there I definitely didn't get into any fights with any creepers I wouldn't do anything as silly as that but look just look at this shape this is why I have spreadsheets for shapes like this it just makes life so much easier I have had to mess with the shape slightly so most of it is still the shape that it was because I want to keep this as accurate as I can unfortunately the other end as we get towards the mountain I've had to get a little bit more inventive with things especially when I was placing the stairs that's why that little time lapse you just saw took a bit longer than expected because I was trying to figure out the stairs as I went uh essentially it just it gets so steep at the top you can't just walk up it gets to a point where you have to start jumping and we are there so here we now have to start jumping every now and then to make our way to the top but I'm okay with that I really like the aesthetic and I'm happy with this being really steep it just looks so cool and it really gives this whole area a sense of scale then we have this tunnel and you can see just how recently I recorded it in that there is still stone on the ground from me placing in all of these stone stairs which is why there is stone stairs in my inventory and this comes out over here inside of this little bowl at the top of the mountain let's, let's be honest this is quite a large bowl I mean that rope bridge is about 150 blocks long the, the scale here is bigger than I would normally do if I wasn't showing off my world to people on the internet because that's what Twitch and YouTube is for I'm giving a thumbs up to nobody right now so yes this is going to be one of the main mountains I've got three mountains around my area that one over there is going to be for the villagers this one is going to be almost entirely aesthetic and probably just some fun redstone contraptions I want to turn this into probably a hotel resort we might have a skiing area I've never been skiing but I'm sure I can do research and at the top we're going to have a redstone elevator going to go right from the top down to bedrock there's going to be 19 floors this is not going to be built anytime soon I've got other things that I need to get done first before I could even think about this because it's such a massive project I now have the iron farm which is going to help but I need to get the redstone farm finished oh th this is massive but it's so cool we have complete floor selection for it um it doesn't always have to start at the bottom it just ends wherever you end up we have doors opening that go up and down with the lift oh it is fabulous and then over at this mountain is where we're going to have our entire villager area which we will talk about in again in just a moment over there that mountain that has as yet remained untouched I'm thinking might become our storage system because I need a big storage well I don't need a big storage system but I really want a big storage system I've designed a storage system that uses shulker boxes so obviously I need to get a shulker farm going first um it is quite a fun little storage system but it needs a lot of space because of the redstone we're going to be building our door here next time hopefully I can find something to work I I already have ideas and then of course there was the big dig and just to give a more of a sense of just how big it was it's you can kind of get the sense of scale in there again it's 150 blocks across roughly I had to renew my pick 31 times I wore my pick down to nothingness 31 times this place is absolutely massive and it currently really difficult to find my little entrance hole it is somewhere up here it's there's one block missing and that's how I'm getting in doubt at the moment um I I can't see it yet but maybe it's around here what I've actually had to do I have a mini hut 
And what I've been using, which we'll use now, is I can see the light levels for each block. Obviously, it is bright out at the moment. This is the light levels with regards to torches placed. So somewhere around here, the light levels are not all zero. So if I look around a little until I start to see that patch where there is some light. Oh, here we go. Here are the light levels. And then that leads me to my torch and my entrance. And that is how I've been getting in and out while I recorded that massive time lapse. That was 21 and a half hours of footage. Plus all the time it took me to repair the pick because we have an XP farm. It's not overly impressive right now. But I love the look of this place and I cannot wait to get it landscaped. I can't wait to get a uh, villager system in place. So we've got to get a zombie in so that we can turn them into zombie villagers and then save them to reduce the prices. I need an area where I can run through their jobs until they have the trades I like. We need to build houses for all of them. We need to build places of work. And I want the places of work to make sense. So, uh, for example, the villager selling mending books. I want them to have a repair shop or something along those lines. So this is going to be a massive project. If you have any ideas for it, put them down in the comments. Leave the video a like if you've liked it. I am trying to be a good little YouTuber. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be reading through comments, looking for more ideas. There is so much that we could do with this space. So let's make use of it. I do plan on covering the entire thing. So the ceiling is going to turn into a sky. This is not a small project. It is also nowhere near the biggest project I have planned for this series. We're going to have a lot of fun with this, but because of all that, that's really all I've got time for. So as I said, if you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Weird and Bearded, and here is a little blooper. So there we have our platform. Uh, I've kept it very simple, but now again, I haven't designed the door yet, so the design of this will probably change once the door is in place. It is suspended with a couple of platforms. That's not correct at all. It's not being suspended. It's being held up by a couple of supports. So let's go record that bit again. Bye!